There we go. What is going on, guys? How are we doing? Justin, Cade, what's going on? Dominic, Wayne, DX, how are you guys doing? We have Rangers Penguins tonight. Rangers Penguins. It's very exciting. These uh, divisional matchups down the stretch are going to be fun to watch. Rangers have a few of them. Starts tonight with the Penguins at their own building at Madison Square Garden. How are you guys doing? How are you guys doing? Long time no see. It's good to be back. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. All right. So, we have a lot to talk about. I have a lot of notes written down. A lot of notes written down. We have so much to touch upon. So much to touch upon. So, this morning's morning skate. Saw the same forward group. No Matt Rempe in the lineup again tonight for the Pittsburgh Pe against the Pittsburgh Penguins. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I don't like it. I think Matt Rempe should be in the lineup. It's about time he gets another game in. If you want to talk about rotating forwards to keep guys fresh, he absolutely deserves his crack to stay fresh. But there's another element to Matt Rempe in him playing more games. He needs to get adapt to the NHL playoff style. And a lot of teams down the stretch here are playing playoff style games. So not really sure why leaving Rempe out of the lineup the last few made sense for the Rangers. I understand that, you know, you don't want to mess with the team's chemistry. They are playing great hockey. They are. But there's no reason why Matt Rempe should not be playing at least tonight against the Penguins. But it should be a um a tough a, a fun stretch going down. Uh should be fun. So yeah, as I mentioned, the forward core stays the same. The D core also stays the same. The D pairings will stay the same as well. Okay. Um my stuffed animal bread, Michael. Where did we get the stuffed animal bread? I don't recall. I think it's a jelly cat. What does that mean? It's like a type of like if you type in jelly cat croissant. Je it's a type of jelly cat. Jelly cat jelly croissant. Cat jelly cat Type in jelly cat croissant, you'll find the jelly Panarin. Cats are website, but it's like jelly cat's a website. Cheese. Okay. All right. Cool. Jelly cat. Put the link, in the link in the chat. Maria will put the link in the chat. But yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's gonna be a great game. It's gonna be a great game. Playing every other night the rest of the season is gonna be tough for this team. It's gonna be very tough, Justin. But it gears them up for the playoffs. That's exactly what you expect. You're gonna expect in the playoffs. So, uh, thank you, Brandon. Back at you. It's hard for any athlete to play any other day. It absolutely is. Rempy is out tonight? Question mark. Yeah, yeah. Rempy looks like. I mean, he wasn't in the. He didn't skate with the team in in the morning skate. Um, the line rushes looked the same as the as the last game. So. Looking like no Matt Rempe once again. Not loving that. You know, I mentioned that just now. I'm not loving that. Not loving that. Especially at home at MSG against a divisional a, a divisional opponent. Uh, you know, it just makes makes no sense. You know, and Pittsburgh's not out of it yet. They're not mathematically eliminated yet, I don't believe. But, um, you know, they're, they're, they should be fighting for every spot. We'll see. There you go. That's the Jelly Cat link, uh, Michael, from Marie. I'll pin that at the top for you. Uh, gotta talk about life, man. Dude is rising before our eyes. Alexei Lafreniere is taking tremendous steps, and it's incredible to see. It's incredible to see. I have so much on Lafreniere. Um, so much on Lafreniere also. He's got 50 points here. It's great to see. It's great to see. I miss Heedle as well. I miss Heedle as well. The Foxy Dolls from the MSG store. Uh, John, what's going on? Anthony, how you doing? Uh, yes, I want the Rangers to win the President's Trophy. Drop a like right now if you want the New York Rangers to win the President's Trophy. You want to get every single advantage you get in the playoffs. It's the hardest trophy to win in sports. I don't believe in the President's Trophy curse. I think out of the top five teams out in the NHL every year, the top team wins the President's Trophy, and one of those other teams in the top five wins the Stanley Cup. And sometimes it's not always the same team, and most of the time it's not. So, it's okay. It's okay. But, I want the Rangers to win the President's Trophy, get every advantage they need to get. Um, especially if you win number one in the East, you most likely play wildcard number two, whether it's Washington or Detroit. I do think you have a better matchup against them rather than the Tampa Bay Lightning. Um, just in round one. You know, if you could fade them in round one, fade them. Easily. Um, yeah. Appreciate you, Marie. Thank you. Who would you want the range? Yeah, so as I Finn, as it's funny, I was just mentioning um yeah, either Detroit or, or Washington. Um yeah, either Detroit or Washington. Shout out to Jake on the train yesterday. Him and I talked. Uh yeah. 
Shout out to Jay Kim and I talked, and he also discussed um, with me what I'd want to play round one, and I said Red Wings or Capitals. Igor, what's up? The J-Man, what's going on? Anthony, John, what's up? What's up, what's up? Uh, last time the Rangers won the President's Trophy, they won the Stanley Cup. Um, maybe second to last time because they won in 14-15, and they, didn't, they did not win it that year, unfortunately. They did not win it, unfortunately, that year. Stuart, what's going on? Um, I'm just, okay, just hoping the remaining games left with Cry and Rizzo Banjan can score five on five consistent bases. Uh, that's what we need in the postseason. I absolutely agree with that. Um, you know, I wrote about a little bit here. I'll get into some of the notes about Roslovic. I wrote a little bit about Jack Roslovic. Um, yeah, so roslovic has been good for the first line. At this point, though, right now in a playoff game, he's sped up. I mean, hold on. In a playoff game, I'm going with over Panarin. I'm going with Panarin, Trojic, Lafreniere over that first line. But Roslovic has given that that line now a little more speed. It's absolutely faster. Um, but yeah, absolutely faster. That line is absolutely faster. Not sure how it's gonna match up in the playoffs, but we'll see. Um, we'll see. We'll see. Mika and Kreider absolutely do need to wake up for the playoffs. Jared, what's going on? You see the Yankees in the corner over there? 4-0 start to the season. Don't worry. I've been dialed in. I've been dialed into the Yankees. I will be there very soon at Yankee Stadium. Rooting for them. Cheering, cheering for them. Uh, John, you got Pittsburgh tonight. It's going to be a fun game in MSG, John. It's going to be a fun game in MSG. Um, but, yeah. All right. Uh, my fa Matthew, my favorite Ranger at the moment is Ar Artemi Panarin, man. He's absolutely uh, risen above expectations, way above expectations as a New York Ranger. Him and Kreider, though, up there. We're number one, number two right now. Number one, number two right now. Him and Kreider. Him and Kreider. <laughs> but, yeah, tonight should be a fun game, like I mentioned. Should be a much uh, a much more intense game for Rangers-Penguins than we thought, maybe. Uh, like I said, Pittsburgh's kind of out of it, but... They're still going to try to hang on every chance they get, and they're going to still try to play spoiler for any single team that's trying to go for a spot, you know, whether it's President's Trophy, Eastern Conference, um, up there, so. Got the Rangers with the... J-Man, got the Rangers? I love that. I'm a Bolts fan, so hopefully we be beat the Red Wings. That should be a good game tonight. That should be a good game. Uh, goals will come. Team these can block shots. Hey, listen, this team can prove that they can play defensive hockey. And when it's you know, and when it's all when it's all said and done, I'm really hoping this team, their defensive game is not a worry. There is not a worry. It's not a worry heading into the playoffs. You gotta hope that's the case. You gotta hope that you don't worry about that being the case. You know, you just hope. You hope. If a team can on the boards and create cycle in the offensive zone, okay. Oh, so you back? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. Trooper didn't look good last game. That's game. That's one game back. Yeah, we'll see how he looks second game back with Miller. Um, Miller really played well with him out. We'll see what happens with ga in game two here against the Penguins. Yeah, but but Trouba did not look great with um with in his first in his second in his first game back. And now we'll see. We'll see tonight. My ideal defensive pairs. Listen, if Jacob Trouba can play up to his expectations, which he has not yet. As a New York Ranger, um, then then roll with Miller, Truba, Linger, and Fox as your top four, which you've been all year. But like, I'm not sure, man. If you're losing in a playoff series and you're getting, you know, like I said, you don't want the defensive. Your defensive zone has been good all year. It really has been. It's been good. You know, they've won games two to one. They've won games one nothing. They've won games because of their defensive team game. The defensive core, man, is the last thing you want to worry about. That's the last thing you want to worry about. So if moving Truba away from Miller benefits that top four decor, then that might be a move that needs to be made by Laviolette. I mean, that move needs to end up being decided within the next two weeks as well. We'll see what happens. It's only Truba's first game back. I understand he was a little shaky. We got to give him a chance. We got to give him a second game back. And luckily, they play 82 games. There's a total of eight games remaining. We'll see what happens. But yeah, I mean, the decor, it needs to be sturdy in the playoffs. It needs to be strong. It needs to be strong. Um, got to tighten up the defense. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah. Yeah. Lingren's a warrior. I love it. I love it. Like in 96 on, uh, 93 and 20 lines so far, more chemistry, uh, could make that a magic line. Yeah. I mean, it speeds up that it speeds up those two. Zabanajad looks great or, uh, has looked so much better since Rossovic's been on that line. I agree. I a hundred percent agree. 
The Miller Schneider pair uh, was pleasantly great these last few weeks, said Maddie. Yeah, Maddie, I 100% agree. Schneider's game is completely elevated under Laviolette. I was very nervous the first few months uh, with Braden Schneider. I didn't think he was thriving under Laviolette. I think he kind of wasn't expected to do that under uh, Gallant, so he kind of benefited from that stay-at-home role under Gallant. And Laviolette's not that kind of coach. He likes his defensemen to be active. So if you were not playing that, you know, if you didn't play that game originally to get you into the NHL, you're kind of hesitant to stray away from that game and, and you know make mistakes. And we've kind of seen the same seen the same with Keandre Miller a bit. He's being more active in the offensive zone. He's taking more chances, and that's the Laviolette effect. We've seen that since the second month of the season. And look, the Rangers have the third most points, I believe, as a defensive crop. So it's great. It's great. And Zach Jones, yeah, Zach Jones has been good too. Zach Jones has been really good. Zach Jones has been really good. I loved his play. I love his play. And uh, Gustafson still hurt. He skated today in a no contact jersey. So we'll see what happens with Eric Gustafson if he can come back um, within the next couple of weeks to get some more games in. We'll see. Uh, but Zach Jones has looked really good. Has not played himself out of the lineup yet. Has not played himself out of the lineup yet. Would you take Jones over Gus? Uh, yeah, so, Marco, honestly, right now, I like Zach Jones. I do like his game. I do think, like I said, I would. I think right now I would take him over Gus. He hasn't played himself out of the lineup. It stinks that Gus is hurt right now because you really don't even know who would be playing over each other right now um, with a full, healthy decor other than Gus. So, Hockey Stud, my thoughts on Capo Kako? I really like Capo Caco as a player. I want him to take the puck to the net more. I think he can score more goals and create more offense. I do like his perimeter game. We all know he can protect the puck well. His defensive game is great. In order for that guy to really succeed in the NHL and be an effective offensive player, he needs to take the puck to the net more. We've seen him doing that a little bit. If he can do that in the playoffs, man, that's all that matters. That's all that matters. That's all that matters is doing it in, the, in those 16 games in the playoffs. It does not matter. It doesn't matter. Zach Jones should start even if Gus is healthy. So, so some of you are torn on that, I see. Some of you are torn on that. Okay. Can we give Laffy a round of applause? Absolutely. Give Alexia Lafreniere a round of applause. Absolutely. Absolutely. Give Alexia Lafreniere a round of applause. Hold on, I just want to bring up something real quick. I think that was loud enough. Hopefully, you guys heard that. That was a round of applause. <laughs> uh, who do I think the Florida Panth? Who do you think that the Florida Panthers is winning the Stanley Cup this year? I don't think the Panthers are going to win the Cup this year. I'm hoping it's the Rangers, but um, I I like the Panthers this year. I think they are still a heavy team. I love the addition of Tarasenko as well. Um, but we'll see. Luca, you think four to one tonight with an empty net goal? I love it. I love it. That's a good prediction. Kako needs to stand in front of the net more. I like the third line cycling the puck quickly. So if there's not a guy in front of the net, I get it. That's okay. But getting the puck, taking it to the net, that's always something you should be doing. You know? So. Yeah, star, star. Rempy looks like he's going to be scratched again. Yeah. Um, how do I feel about, yeah, how do I feel about Rempy being out of the lineup? Yeah, I, I don't like it. You need that kid to play NHL minutes. You need him to get accustomed to the NHL game. He needs to start just... I don't know. I, what's he at? 10 games, almost a dozen games. Just get him another five games in so to, just to see if he can play that playoff style of game, I, which I think he can. I think he really can. I think he's able to play the NHL game at a playoff level. So, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Um, Jacob, what's going on? Long time no see. Uh, yeah. Playoffs are going to be really fun. Oh, yeah. The playoffs are going to be great. Kako skills are made for the playoffs besides, um, oh, sorry, battles along the boards is playoff hockey. No, 100% agree. I agree. You think Kako hat trick tonight? I would love that. I would love that. Rempy has to play Wednesday. So, yeah, see, but, like, yeah, he'll play Wednesday. And why? That just because it's the Devils? And, like, you know, you don't really want to be known as just the guy who goes up against the teams who are going to be after you. You know, I don't know. Whatever. It is what it is. I just think he should be getting some games in. He's too valuable. He's valuable, man. Matt Rempe is valuable to this New York Rangers team. It it changes that bottom six. Changes and it changes the bottom six. 
makes it look so different in a playoff series against some of these teams in the NHL, especially in the East. Really hoping to see Rempe getting some playing time tonight. Um, yeah, again, I don't know. Does he go against Jersey now? I guess he does, or maybe he doesn't. Who knows? If they lose tonight, right? They lose tonight, then you got to... Is that the excuse to then change the lineup? You know, just because you won the last two games? You won, you won Colorado by the skin of your teeth. You know, just, can we give me a break? Shouldn't be because you lose. You, you, you win, you roll the same lineup. I mean, come on, we got eight games left. You got to see what you got in the bottom six. You got to see what you got in the bottom six. They hate Rempe, and I love it. Nah, I don't think they hate him. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I don't. I don't. Leave a like right now if you want to see Matt Rempe in the lineup. Really do appreciate all of your guys' support. 10,300 subs. Really do love you guys. Thank you so much. Like I said, leave a like. I appreciate you guys. Are we going to win the cup? I hope so, Michael. I hope so. I hope so. Replace Gujo for Rempe for a few games. <laughs> yeah. I know. We can't say that, though. <laughs> No, I don't like Rempe. Uh, I don't like Goudreau. And people, we all know that. Rempe energizes the crowd, which ignites the team. Yeah, I mean, he changes also just the way I think teams react on the ice when they know he's out there. Like, imagine. Like, Keith Yandel even said that on the TNT broadcast. He mentioned that, like, knowing he's out there is definitely going to scare some guys and, and change the way they play. Maybe move the puck a little quicker. And we've we've already noticed that. We've already noticed that. You think they're just hiding him? You think they're just shying away? They're just, we'll save him for the playoffs. We know what he's capable of. We're just going to save him. We're just going to save him for the playoffs. Like, is that the only ex excuse that we can give right now? It's crazy. Next three games, Amun? Rempe should play? Should definitely play. Should definitely be playing. You were there in 94. This team is having the 94 feel. The expectation of ha not having a team leader close to Messier. That's fine by me. That's fine. I love those vibes, though. I need those vibes. Uh, Oilers Rangers, a realistic final. The o If the Oilers and Rangers final happens, that would be fantastic. Sorry. That would be incredible for the NHL. In general, for hockey in Canada, for Connor McDavid as an entity, as a superstar for the sport of hockey, that would be incredible. Um, I think that's realistic if Oilers get the defense. Timely scoring, they need it. And same for the Rangers, in a way. Um, it's hard to get to the finals. It's it's hard. I think it's realistic, though. I think it is. Um, how long do I think they'll have Laviolette for? That's a good question. I'll say, like, two to four years. If he doesn't, you know, see what happens this playoffs. See what happens next playoffs. Um, you know, and you never know what can happen after that. We'll see, we see how, we saw how quick Gallant got cut. <laughs> see how, saw how quick, how he got cut. How quickly he got cut. You can't have a guy that plays uh, six minutes a game and sees no ice time in the third period in the playoffs. Yeah, but your bench shortens in the playoffs anyway. Your bench shortens in the playoffs anyway, Oral. You're, you're not running six, 12 forwards in game six of the playoffs. You're just not doing that in the third period. You're not running all four lines. If you're down a goal, you know what I'm saying? Like in situational hockey in the playoffs... Matt Rempe is just as valuable as, as a Barkley Goudreau, I'm saying. You know what I mean? I understand he plays six minutes a night, but that's not my decision. You know, I wish he could play a little more. I think he's that effective. I really do. Um, <clears throat> and the reason I want him to play these regular season games is because I think he has that more, that much more of a chance of being successful in the playoffs if he continues to play um, regular season games and, and, and grow as a hockey player in the NHL. Simple. Torch was the last to stay over five years as a coach. That's crazy. Uh, I I've I watched um the Frozen Four tournament last night. Um the not the Frozen Four, but um it wasn't the Frozen Four, but it was the tournament. I saw Boston, Boston College win, and I saw uh the University of Michigan win as well. Uh the Wolverines. So yeah, should be a great uh great game between those two. Rempe is like how Tom Wilson was to Ranger fans at the end of the twenty twenty one season. <laughs> That's funny. Robert, what's going on? How you doing? Uh, Rangers should buy out Goudreau to get more cap space. That's looking possible. Yeah, we'll see in the offseason. We'll see in the offseason. Canucks ain't making the cup final, said Bobby. We'll see. That should be good. That's a, that's a good question, too, the Canucks. Canucks Rangers? That'd be good. That'd be good. A little rematch in 94. Canucks looking to avenge 2011, right? Yes. Rangers looking to avenge 2014. That'd be good. 
one of those teams will get a cup again. Canada's ratings would skyrocket. That'd be incredible for them. If the Rangers go down without help from Kreider and Mika, can they be traded next year? I don't think they're going to move on from Zibanejad. Um, and it would be tough to move on from Kreider, too, considering where he is in the franchise now. I just don't know. I don't know, man. I don't want to think about them losing. I think they're going to win the Stanley Cup. I don't want to think about what will happen if they lose. I, I know. I, that's terrible to think if they lose, man, this year. If they lose early, especially. Like, if they go out like they did last year, that's devastating. That's devastating. No, they need to win the Stanley Cup this year. Let's let, uh, We got to try to think that way, right? We got to try to think that way. And they're capable of winning the Stanley Cup. And I think Kreider and Zibanejad are capable of elevating their game in the playoffs. We have to believe that, right? We have to. We have to. But you're right, man. You're right. They have to deliver. Because then they're, look, they're looked at as maybe the problem. They're looked at as maybe the problem. Which would not be good. Oof. Not be good. Not be good. I can't keep up with the chat. You guys are fast. Um, you predicted you predicted the Devils not making the playoffs, Robert. All right, good call. If the Canucks lose to the Rangers in the finals, how long would the riot last? <laughs> uh long. Abs are good, but Georgiev stinks. Georgiev is gonna like make or break them. I think it's gonna be tough for, for Colorado in the playoffs. If, if they go up against a lethal offense like Dallas, it'll be tough, man. It'll be tough. It'll be tough. Trap game. Trap game in the playoffs. We'll see what happens for Laviolette's Rangers. Uh, screaming at Gujar to pass the puck on the breakaway. Don't trust him a bit with the puck. Yeah, but he shut us up, unfortunately. <laughs> I wanted him to pass that, too, but he buried it. Every year that ends in uh, 04, except 04, Rangers have dominated. 94-14 in 2024. I love that. I love that. I know, man. I love these guys, but five and five. I know, I know, I know. We'll see what happens, though. My big two hot takes these playoffs is that Dallas is out in round two, and you think the Kings will make the Western Conference Final? That's a hot take, Luca. The Kings making the Conference Final is a really hot take. Ottinger's uh, worrying me a bit down the stretch here. He's gotten kind of I don't, I don't know. We'll see. I don't know. I could maybe see Dallas being out in round two more than Kings making the Western Conference Final. How many goals do I think Matthews will end up with? Maybe 66. Let's say I'll get six more, right? What does he have? 60? I think he's got 60. 60. I'll say he gets six more in the last. I think they got eight games, seven games maybe. If Leon leaves Oilers, would you make the move to bring him to New York? I mean, it would really depend on how the money money moves. Um, I know he'll want a lot of money, but we'll see. We'll see. I cannot keep up with the chat. I'm so sorry. Um... It's way too, way too fast. Matt, who's the one on the team do you think poses the biggest threat to the Rangers these playoffs? Who's the one team you think poses the biggest threat? Um, I think in a conference final, Florida scares me. And in a second round, Carolina scares me. Those two series can will most likely happen if the Rangers want to win the Stanley Cup. They'll have to go through Carolina and Florida. Those two teams are... You know, my big, big teams in the East. But also the Bruins, man. The Bruins know how to get it together. I, I you know I hope they kind of get eliminated early. Someone takes care of them um, early, you know, whether it's Toronto or um, Tampa Bay. We'll see. We'll see. But, yeah, those teams kind of scare me a little bit. But, well, honestly, the Rangers are good. The Rangers are good. I, I'm confident in this team. I really am. If they get the first line scoring, could you imagine, man? That would be a lethal top six along with that bottom six. Come on. And then and then the team defense that's been good all year. It's been good. Hopefully you can get that you can get that formula. That's the formula you're looking for, right? Simple. Simple, simple. Nobody wants to play Tampa. That's true. That's true. Uh what is one thing the team needs to bring uh to the playoffs that the twenty two Rangers had? Timely scoring opportunistic scoring opportunistic scoring there you go I'll, that's the one thing opportunistic scoring nothing scares me uh, i just feel like this is the year yeah i i feel like the same way just a comment i i, I feel the same way Kreider needs to just get hot in the playoffs Wayne. we know that Roger, CC Rodriguez, a Rangers Leafs conference final that would be incredible for hockey as well. Imagine a Rangers Leafs conference final and possibly like Oilers Rangers Stanley Cup final. I mean, t t uh, Canada would be angry, but I would be happy. I would be happy. I could also see the Winnipeg Jets getting it together. Hellebeck really plays well in net, um, and maybe them going to the to the Cup final as well. I think this is maybe. 
Canada's best chance at a Stanley Cup in a, my lifetime. You've got the Winnipeg Jets with Connor Hellebuck in net. Anything can happen. They can easily shut any team down. We've, we've seen that throughout the year. He's back. Um, the Edmonton Oilers have Connor McDavid, the best player in the world. Can turn it up whenever he wants. The Vancouver Canucks are playing great hockey. They've been playing great hockey all year. And most likely Jack Adams award Rick Tockett, uh, head coach there. He's got them, them great, playing great hockey. The Toronto Maple Leafs always, you know, are in the playoffs. And they can maybe get an, pass another round one, hopefully in a round two. Um, I think this is Canada's best chance at a Stanley Cup, seriously, in, a, in my lifetime. Um, but it'll be fun to watch. It'll be fun to watch. Playoffs start in two weeks, eh? Isn't that awesome? Playoffs start in two weeks. I'm excited. I'm excited. Uh, leave a like if you guys are enjoying. Uh, I'll be right back. Uh, Rangers Penguins tonight. It should be a fun one. Uh, you see the standings over in the corner. Uh, Rangers on top of the NHL. What do you guys think should happen? Do you guys think the Rangers should win the President's Trophy? I think they should try to. try to. Do you think they should win the President's Trophy and get home ice advantage throughout, throughout all four rounds? Or should they maybe tone it back a little bit, rest some guys, you know, try not to go for the, for the President's Trophy curse? All right, but uh, I'll be right back. Leave a like if you guys are enjoying. Appreciate you. You think Florida wins the President's Trophy? Not a bad guess. Not a bad guess. You think Wenberg makes sense to resign? You don't know how long Heedel will take. I yeah, we'll see. Um, the thing about Heedel is, is you can put him on the LTIR for next season again. So I mean, you can still use his money if you know he's not back, which you, you hope he is. You hope he is. True, every team is a threat in the playoffs. Very true, very true. Very true. Imagine a third line of one Brickito Kako. Ooh, I mean, <laughs> yeah, that would be nice. One Brickito Kako, that's just a fast on you line. Man, then what, Cooley, Rempy, and then you need a fourth line center? That's nice, because I don't want to go to her back, right? Obviously. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. Jonathan Quick's getting your vote for the Stephen McDonald Award. It's very possible he wins it. I think Trocheck will get a lot of votes. I really, I made a case for Cooley about a month ago, maybe a month and a half ago at this point. Um, I really like, I really like Cooley, but yeah, I I don't see why Quick shouldn't win it. Pre-game video starting at four forty-five is crazy. Well, we're not rolling up to seven o'clock, so we'll probably roll up to like five forty-five. So I wanted to get it out for you, for you here, okay, Kashi. Mika March losing it, and losing his magic. He's got to come out in April. It's got to come out in April, Kash. Favorite Ranger legend, Henrik Lundqvist. A. Hey. Um, who do I have tonight for Florida and Toronto? Ooh, Florida. Cooley on the fourth. Uh, yeah, or Edstrom. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. Um, who do I want for free agency in the off season? I I saw like the Marshall So and Duchesne narrative already going around for the Rangers. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how this playoffs goes. I can't give you guys a free agency yet. That goal by Goudreau was a big redemption goal for me as an avid Barkley Goudreau hater. Yeah, same for same here, Justa. Same here. 
if we win the cup, I don't care how much. Uh, yeah, exactly. Like, I want to see how this uh, this playoffs go. Let me see how these playoffs go, and, th and then we'll talk about. Uh, then we'll talk about uh, next season, and the off season. Trade them all. <laughs> see, see. I don't want to jump to conclusions, but this is a great time for New York sports. The Knicks and Rangers. Um, are poised to win a championship, and then and the Yankees are off to a four and zero start. Yeah, CC, I one hundred percent agree with you there. The Yankees are off to a four and zero start. By the way, just saw also Juan Soto named AL Player of the Week. Yeah, breaking news there. AL Player of the Week for Juan Soto. So it's a pretty impressive start for the New York Yankees. And you're right, man. New York sports is buzzing, and it's about time because Marie and I talk about it all the time. We have not seen a parade in how long? Very long time. It's been almost 15 years since we've seen a parade. So we want a parade. And I haven't seen a parade ever. So I want a parade. I want a parade. I want two. I want one in June for the Rangers. And I want one in November for the Yankees. Plain and simple. This year is the year to do it. 2024 is the year of champions in New York. It's destined is right. And so are the Knicks, man. Even though the Knicks blew it against OKC last night. But they are. They're the, Knicks. the Knicks are destined for greatness as well, man. You got to believe. You got to believe. Gotta believe my favorite Yankee player, Judge, 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 Judge. The Mets do stink right now. It's a slow start for them. It is a slow start for them. Uh, was at City Field yesterday. Very fun time. Great eats. Great eats. Great eats. We had great eats. Uh, my Twitter is Mike Saps underscore. Right over there. Right over there. If the Rangers win the President's Trophy, do you think uh, they will get out last year like Boston? I mean, that's it's very possible. The first team in the in the in the in the whole league can easily be out in round one, no matter who it is. I'm hoping not, but it's possible. Uh, if the Rangers win the President's Trophy, do you think they will get out last year like Boston? Oh, I read that already. What an idiot. <laughs> I uh, have seen so many Yankee championships, I don't even get excited. Well, I've only seen one, and it was I was ten years old for it, so I want another one, please. Like I, I like I need to see one. I, I need to see one, please, and and be able to remember it. If the power play doesn't click in the playoffs, what is Plan B? No, it's gonna click. It, it has to click in the playoffs. It has to. Caitlin, what's going on? My top five current Rangers? Oh, man. I'll go Crides, Bread, Vinny, Trocek, Adam Fox, and Keandre Miller. Or no, Will Cooley, and then Keandre. Because I love Cooley. I love Cooley. <laughs> oh, but the laugh, too. The laugh narrative has been strong as of late, though. The laugh narrative has been real strong. Alexei Lafreniere. Unbelievable. I don't think Vegas is a cup team, really. Huh. All right, that's fine. That's fine. I um, you know, they're they're barely scraping the surface in a playoff spot, but I do think when they make the playoffs cuz I they're going to, they'll be a threat. So, that's fine. That's fine. I think they'll I think they'll be in there. I think it's like I I you see my favorites. Like I like Florida. Uh, I like Florida, the Rangers, and, and Carolina in the East, and then Dallas, Colorado, and Vegas in the West. Um, Dallas is scaring me just because of Andre a little bit, but all those other teams I'm very confident going to Stanley Cup. Very confident. And I'm pretty sure it's going to be one of those teams this year. One of those teams. Crider, yeah, Crider's my favorite. Crider's been here since day my, like one of my early day years. You know, of course I love Crider. But I understand why you don't like him if he, you know, if he, you know, the way he plays. I get it. I get it. Not at this point, Oilers own that division. No, of course, but I listen. Anything could happen in the playoffs. You just gotta get in. You just gotta get in. I let me tell you, I do think um it'll be very tough for Vegas to repeat, especially after how you know short of an off season they got. That's why it's so hard to repeat in the in the, in the NHL. I I it's not gonna be easy. Not gonna be easy. Can Nashville go on another run? It would be sick to see them get into the playoffs and go on the run that they had. But have they played their best hockey of the season? Or is their best hockey of the season yet to come? Um, you know, going 16-0-2 is usually, you know, a team's best run of the season. So, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Breadman having the year. Yes, he is, Dominic. He is having the year. Last sure I think Boston ended the season on a down note, but the Rangers are clicking on all cylinders. Yeah, that's true. 
That's true. Boston kind of, you know, they kind of Tampa bait it a little bit, maybe rode that wave, you know, played just, but they kept winning hockey. It was so strange. You know, I mean, sort of the lightning though, that year in 18, sort of the lightning. All right. Let's see if I got any more notes I can talk about. Let's see any more notes. Um, Watch out for the Lars Eller masterclass tonight, Lars. Let's see if Lars Eller and Jeff Carter have anything to say tonight about the New York Rangers. Uh, <laughs> the New York Rangers' path to the President's Trophy. New York needs anyone. Yeah. Uh, well, who would you rather most play first round? I mean, listen, just wa give me Washington or Detroit first round so that you can hopefully push through Carolina and Florida in rounds two and three. Really, the only my only thing I would like. Because you just don't want to play a tough team in round one, whether it's Tampa Bay, you know, whoever. You don't want to play. Give me the easy, weaker team or the weakest team in a way and go on a run. Bread maybe wins the heart. Mm, I think it'll be a lot of McDavid, McKinnon, Kucherov votes, and Matthews as well. I, I, I just I don't see Panarin. And, and him and Pasternak are like two victims of just playing in an era of just pure psycho crazy hockey players where Kucherov, McKinnon, Matthews and McDavid just dominate and dominate. Like they just they can't get above them. It's just impossible. Um so what they have to do is just win a Stanley Cup, one of those two. Simple. <laughs> um you saw Kreider have a hat trick before the uh before the February game against Montreal. Yeah, that was a good game. What up, Hogan? What's up? Kane's first round exits? That'd be really good for the Rangers. That'd be really good for the Rangers. I think Who's a tougher? I think I mean I think Philly would be a tougher matchup for Carolina, right? If if it's two and three, hopefully Philly plays Carolina. I think that would be a tough matchup for them, tougher than than most. Whoever we play first round, we need to sweep them. Yeah, you gotta make it an easy series because the rest of the playoffs is not an easy series. You know, it's just you know they won't be easy series. You just know they won't be. The Rangers' first line is good in the playoffs. I have no doubt we will win the cup. Yeah. I mean, if you can get your top six clicking, absolutely. Great sights ahead, yeah. You want Philly, Carolina. I want Philly, Carolina, too, I think. Hypothetically, you can quick win the Masterson Trophy, come at player of the year. Hypothetically. Hmm. Yeah, I don't see why he, why he shouldn't get votes. Who Who would win it? Like who 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 else would win it? Like who's another example, Jason? Who else could win the Masterton class this year? The 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 award this year. Masterton trophy. The class trophy, I think that's what it's called, right? You're gonna sweep the devils? I hope we sweep the devils. I think the president's trophy is a curse, says Kashi. Uh not just because they haven't won since thirteen, but having on pass round two since thirteen. Mm, that that's more like a curse. I can see that. I can see you thinking that. Caps could get it done against the Canes? Really? The Caps? I think I think Philly has a better chance, but you know, I've doubted the Caps along with everyone else all year, so. Philly prides themselves on hard work and forecheck. Uh, exactly what Carolina does as well and better. True. Alex, what's going on? Um, yeah, hopefully it's gonna be a good spring and summer in NYC. I hope. I hope. James is going on. Just a comment. What's up? Um, music Zach Jones goal tonight. I love that. I love that music. Gregory, what's going on? I'm hoping we keep Wenberg after this season's up. He's brought so much stability in the bottom six. Definitely, definitely agree with there. Agree with you there about the bottom six. Um, yeah, we'll see how this playoffs goes. We'll see how this playoffs goes. Oral, what's up? Rempy playing against Jersey will be a circus if McDermott plays. We really don't need that. That's why I think you needed to play him in the last couple of games or tonight, and you're now you're not doing that. So now if you do play him against Jersey, yeah, it's going to be you're, – you're asking for it, kind of. You're asking for it. Caps in six against the Canes. It'll be a fun bracket this year. I can't wait to do my bracket challenge. Oh, my goodness. I cannot wait to do my bracket challenge, Marie. Oh, my God. Oh, I can't wait. Would I stream live during the playoffs? I'm looking to stream a lot more. We'll see what happens um, for the playoffs. We'll see what kind of schedule the Rangers get. Um, maybe if there's like an afternoon game, we'll be able to do it. But, yeah, I'm going to try to do as much as I can for you guys. Of course, it's playoff time. Of course. 
try to talk to you guys as much as I can. I appreciate you guys. All right, let's scroll down the chat a little bit because it's going fast. It's going fast. Thoughts on Cockle, uh, the Cockle next contract? I don't know what it's going to be, Eddie. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I would love to see Rempy play Caitlyn. I agree. Um, why do I think Mika doesn't shoot, especially in the power play, as much injury? I don't know. I think it's, I don't know. I don't know. I think he shoots. I just think he's trying to make a lot of plays. You know? Why, ba, ba. Why doesn't Mika get considered for Lady Bing? Dude never fights or gets mad ever. That's very true. It's a good. It's a very good point, Justa. And he does not get angry. And I think I've heard him in a. I think it was Hank's podcast, maybe, or it was definitely it was a single podcast. I don't remember which one. But he was talking about how he just the only way he gets angry and gets pushed over the edge is if it's like if like things aren't going well for him. And let me tell you, if there if things weren't going well for him, it was definitely this year, and he hasn't really blown a casket yet. So. I don't know. Maybe we'll see Mika getting mad in the playoffs, but that's a good point. I, I, I don't know why he doesn't get any consideration for the Lady Bing. Not sure. Maybe, I mean, I think you need some, I think you need low penalty minutes too. So, I mean, I understand the doesn't fight aspect, but I also think you need a low pin. Eight years, 14 and a half. <laughs> Bruce, I'm sorry. The chat's flying. What'd you say? I'm sorry, Bruce. I see. I saw. Of course, I see all that comment and not the other one. Uh, you put twenty on Goudreau anytime goal scorer. What is that? What does that pay out? Two grand. Mika for the Lady Bing. Let's start that narrative, Justa. Let's start that narrative. Simple. We need to keep Kako. He's gonna explode. Uh, like laugh, and if he leaves, it definitely will happen. I'm saying it now. I think that's why the Rangers are kind of hesitant to move on from, especially Kako now, um, because you're afraid of what he might do with another team. Alex, quick Yankees question. I'm here. Since the Yankees are playing in Arizona tonight, have they held out uh, that 0-1 World Series? Have they held on in that World 0-1 World Series? Do you think that would have been the best parade in New York sports history? Probably. Um, wasn't alive for that, so I wouldn't have really. I I wouldn't have known, and I also not been to a parade, so I can't really compare that to another one. But yeah, it probably would have been. Just like a little bit in the chat. All right, I gotta scroll then, Bruce. I got you. See, dedicated. I'm here. Bruce Gold, Penguins, Messi, Graves, Robots, High, and Richter are going down. Ah, still in the 90s. Yeah. Penguins fans probably wish they had some of those players on that team still. I mean, the Rangers fans do as well. Hey, happy birthday, Kashi's grandpa. I don't understand why Lavi keeps scratching Rempy. Just imagine MSG in the playoffs. I mean, I hope he doesn't get scratched in the playoffs. You got to hope. You've got to hope. Kako's going to score a hat-trick today. Igor will get a goal. Igor, you think Igor's goal comes today against Pittsburgh? That'd be nice. The nice little wave goodbye to, to them a couple years ago. And then he buries his first one against them. That'd be nice. I think it's insulting to say that a player should uh, be a Lady Bing nominee. <laughs> That's funny, just me. Um, How am I feeling about Igor? I'm feeling very confident in both of the New York Rangers goaltenders heading into the playoffs. I'm very confident in Igor Shosturkin as a number one goaltender heading into the Stanley Cup playoffs. Quick is a reliable number two, though. So, I'm very confident in the Rangers goalies. Do you think Truba and Miller should be split up? I feel like Schneids and Key were much better. Hogan, I'll tell you right now, if the next few games with this full defense core playing, you know, if we see a little change, don't be surprised. If it works better, it better work in the playoffs, right? You just don't know what might work in the playoffs. So I think it can happen. I think it can happen because they want to win hockey games. I don't think Lavi lets that guy who will just, you know, I don't think he'll let them lose like it's just, he'll make changes he'll he'll adjust he'll he'll move truba he'll move the captain of the team i, I really do believe that he will rostov has been underwhelming to me only was really impressive the first game here um okay that's fine that's fine you can have that opinion i think i'm just like honestly i'm just waiting until he's in the playoffs to really make my full judgment on him i do think he sped up just a banish a bit but we'll see what he brings in the playoffs you have faith in Quick? I do th I do have faith in Quick as well, just in case things go south as well, Justa. 
Marco, how many games would you want uh, to switch to quick in the playoffs if Igor's not up to standards? Again, back to my point about Laviolette, I think he's got a quick finger. I don't think he'll he'll wait. I think he'll make the, the decision to make a switch. I always forget who, Coley's a rookie. Um, he slotted right in with this team. He absolutely has, Gregory. Hogan, definitely. Um, I just don't want to see Truba going out of his way in the playoffs to hit someone. Yeah, no, of course. I get you, Hogan. Yeah, you don't want him to be a liability out there. I, I understand. I agree. I agree. Because that he was a little bit two years ago in the playoffs, man. Especially in that Pittsburgh series. It was not great. Not they, He was almost the reason they lost that Pittsburgh series two years ago. He really was. Really was. It was close. Very close. And then he, he redeemed himself that playoffs. I will admit, man. Yeah, I will admit. I know you're not a Penguins fan. Uh, do you really think your team is going to last in the first round of us? Why wouldn't I? I mean, the Rangers went to the conference finals three years, two years ago. Again, by the skin of their teeth, barely beating Pittsburgh. But it's, they were still there. They've got more experience now in the playoffs. Of course, the last last year was awful. Um, they win a game. You never know what can happen in that playoffs if they just win that seventh game. So, I mean, listen, it's going to be fun. Of course I do. Of course I have faith in my team. Of course I have faith in my team. Brasovic has been amazing. No slander, please. <laughs> um, Rangers will probably win. My Penguins have been uh, losing a lot lately. Yeah, it's looking like the turn time to turn the new page for um for the Penguins. You miss Quickie in L.A. Did him dirty, Caden. Did him dirty. He was not happy when he when he returned to L.A. When do I think Gabe Perot and Brendan Amon will make the big leagues? I'm hoping they both can come into camp next year and impress. Um. Whether one of them makes a team, that'd be great. I'm not sure what Pearl's going to do if he's going to go back to school. Um, but Ottman, man, I'm expecting him to maybe make some noise for the Rangers' bottom six. Listen, they're gonna, it's going to be a lot. There's a lot of jobs open. Well, not too many jobs, I should say. There's a lot of guys trying to get jobs in the bottom six for the Rangers, whether it's next year um, in in the trade. Uh, I'm sorry. Whether it's in the off season. And they acquire guys. They also have a lot of guys who can fill in jobs in the AHL and guys they already have on the roster. So, yeah. We'll see what Ahmed and Perot do. I don't know. Perot maybe two years? Okay. Yeah. As much as the Penguins have been losing this year, I can see a second year in a row they don't make the playoffs. Yeah, they probably won't, Bruce. It's unfortunate. If the boys keep playing the way they are, uh, they have a chance for what they've been seeking for. I agree, Dominic. Uh, do I do I have a Dark Horse or Rangers player pick for your team MVP? Jonathan Quick saved them the first couple of seasons, the first couple of months of the season. So yeah, I would say Jonathan Quick. I would say Jonathan Quick. Don't understand why Coolio only plays six to ten minutes a night. Saving him for the playoffs. Saving him for the playoffs. <laughs> oh, for the playoffs, you mean CC? Ooh, um, a Panarin, Fox, Fox is gonna have to be the offensive defenseman that he is in the playoffs. Um, yeah. Yeah. You'd rather see Miller get paired with Schneider. That was a great pairing. Yeah, I enjoyed watching that too. Uh, yeah, Alex, I hopefully plan on going to a playoff game. Yeah, I would love to go to a playoff game this year. That's my plan. That's our plan. Who does Shruba pass the cup to first? Kreider? Yes, it's Kreider, of course. What? Oh my god, don't even, don't even get me, uh, don't even get me thinking like that, Jesse. Come on. Ben, what's up? Do I think Panarin will finally perform in the playoffs? Yeah, him and Fox are going to have to perform in the playoffs. It's the Rangers' top guys performing in the playoffs in order for them to win the cup. And Panarin is definitely the top guy. Definitely the top guy. He's he's the guy, Panarin. It's him. It's him. Give Perot two years to grow and get bigger. Uh, work on his skating. Yeah, I'm, I'm assuming he'll, he'll probably go back to school next year. Um, and then, yeah. Meet up at the NHL store before the playoffs, Kev. Yeah, that'd be sick. That'd be sick. Nah, I mean, listen, if I, if I'm going, I'm definitely, we're definitely looking to go to a playoff game. So I'll definitely be around MSG the day I go, the day I go. So you went to your first game. Your dad's a Jersey devil fan. Went to New Jersey stadium. Uh, Penguins lost five, <laughs> two. That's funny. Good memory, Darren. If we end up going to the same playoff game, we got to meet up. Yeah. Listen, I, I definitely Justin. I remember that. Of course. Of course. I remember that. Yeah. I'll, um, I'm definitely going to, of course, announce when I'm going to the playoff game. Of course. You guys will know when I go there. Um, but, yeah. I'm definitely trying to go. Uh, does 20 go into the rafters? It's a good chance. If, if this playoffs is a little successful, yeah, he goes up to the rafters. I think so. I'd hope so. 
If MP plays in the playoffs, who do you figure gets to scratch? Brzezinski? Right now, yeah, Brzezinski. Hag needs to get to go front office to get a ring. I mean, I would love that. How many goals do you think Mika gets in the playoffs? Had a really good playoffs a couple years ago. Scoring-wise, you know, was he on a heater at some point? At some points? Um, I don't know. Hopefully over 10. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. Looking back in year five, I can guarantee that the teams uh, are going to be really angry that they, they didn't draft Perel. I agree, Justa. I agree. Perel's a steal of the draft so far. Besides the Rangers, who the Rangers play, are the any particular matchups in the either the West or the East, I want to keep an eye on. I'm definitely going to be keeping an eye on most likely all of the Eastern Conference matchups. They're, it's going to be great hockey. I, I know I love watching every single playoff game I can. The West should be fun as well. It's going to be great hockey. Do I hate um, the Devils as, just as much as you do? Probably not. <laughs> Probably not. It's great having top two quality goalies. It absolutely is deplorable. It absolutely is great. Do I think they're at least keeping Rempe for the playoffs as a 13th forward, or do I think he gets sent to Hartford? It's a good question. It's like, why hasn't he gotten sent down? Um, No, I think, I don't know, man. I just I, I do want him playing hockey. I do think that the Rangers are going to need him. I do think he should be playing. I'm not sure. About Rasovic, not only does he uh, drive the puck and playmaker for that line, he's very dangerous in the circle slot with the puck. Six shot. Very, I do agree with that, Justa. And we've seen him, you know, and we've seen him and his confidence to make plays and his confidence to maybe make an extra play with the puck. And maybe that's what that line needs. Maybe that's what that line has a little too much of. But I do think in the playoffs, when it's time, Rosovic maybe is that slick guy to maybe slip through the cracks for Kreider and advantage to get them the puck and to, to make something happen in the playoffs. You've only ever been to one NHL game. It was Penguin. Oh, I read that already, I think. Uh, I see you, Bruce. I see you. I do not know why Rammer was fired last year. I don't. Um, I love Laviolette. Oh, Amer I love Laviolette. I love Laviolette. You think Jack was the seal of the deadline? Rosovic? Wow, you're, you're really high on Rosovic. You wanted Lynn Holman. He's doing poorly in Vancouver. We have Jack, and he's very happy, and he's filling the position perfectly? I don't know about perfectly. I need that first-line scoring, Justa. I need that first-line scoring goals. I mean, don't. he's not a perfect fit yet. I need that guy driving that line offensively if, if he's been brought in to do that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I need I need Jack Rosovic to be feeding that line goals. Five on five. All right, the Rangers are 50, 24, 20, and 4, 104 points, top of the NHL with eight games remaining, including tonight versus the Penguins. This is the sixth time the New York Rangers had 50 wins in a season. It's the fourth time in my lifetime. There's a very good chance that this team has the most wins in franchise history. The record is 53, set in 14-15. So the Rangers just need four more wins to break that. Starts tonight with the Penguins. Like I said, oh no. So, with 107 points, 44 goals, 63 assists, Artemi Panarin is only 10 goals away from the Rangers' single-season record set by Yager in 05-06 with 54, 17 assists away from the team's record set by Leach with 80 in 91-92, and 16 points away from the most points in the season set by Yager in 05-06 with 123 points. He's also one hat trick away from the single season record set with four by Thomas Sandstrom in 86 87. Artemi Panarin should get every single MVP vote he deserves. He should be the MVP. Simple. He should absolutely win the MVP. The New York Rangers, I don't think, are maybe in the top two. Maybe they're a third place in the Metropolitan, but they're not in the top two in the Metropolitan Division without Artemi Panarin. He's been so good. He's going to hopefully break the franchise point record. He needs two around two points a game to do so. It's going to be fun to see. It's going to be fun to see that chase. I think his teammates know about it. I think they're going to try to be feeding him. Tonight, you know, against a Pittsburgh Penguin team, not the greatest defensively. Somehow, Jari's got, like, I'm pretty sure, maybe still leads the league in shutouts. But 
This should be good. Okay? Should be a great last two weeks of the season with our Temi Panarin chasing a possible Rangers record. Should be great. Should be great. Not that it really matters, but remember that 30 years ago? I don't remember 30 years ago. I don't. I don't. Do you think the Rangers would win the Stanley Cup uh, if they added the free agent? <laughs> yeah, Ben. All you. All you. Just let them both go. <laughs> all right, let's talk about Chris Crowder real quick. You know, we just talked about Panarin possibly breaking some Rangers records. Chris Crowder, 300 goals. All of them as a New York Ranger, now solidifying himself again. Once again, solidifying himself as a Rangers great. Only himself and Roger Bear and John Rattel have scored more than 300 times for the Blue Shirts. John Rattel has 336 goals. Roger Bear 406 goals. Wow, there's a very good chance next season, Chris Kreider, if he's still here, knock on wood, I think he'll still be here. Not that I don't want him to be here, but you know, you never know. Not that I want him to be here, I should say. We'll see how the playoffs goes. But he's still, he has a chance to maybe become second all-time in Rangers goal scoring. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Uh, the other night, Jonathan Quick, most wins by a USA-born goaltender, passing Ryan Miller, now has 392 wins. I'm pretty sure I talked about in October, not not like online or anything, but I was saying to myself, maybe if Quick plays one more year for, for another team, he can get that American-born record. No way I saw him getting that this year with the Rangers, and he did. He did. Um, it's awesome to see him do it in a Rangers jersey. It was very cool to see him do it in Arizona, a city where, I'm sorry, you know, a place where they want to grow hockey. They want to grow the game. Um, so it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Too bad only 4,000 people saw it live. So that was the only downside about it. It's funny how you mentioned Chris Kreider as Alma Matters BC. Uh, yeah. Oh, very funny. Very funny. My thoughts on Drew Fortescue? Yeah, uh, it's not the BC kid. Yeah, he'll be playing. In, uh, he'll still be playing. Uh, I don't know too much about him, honestly. Like, I don't, I know, I don't really know much about like what he can bring to a hockey team. Like, is he is he a scorer? I'm not. I see. I see. Actually, wait. Drew Fortescue's the defenseman, right? Or I'm pretty sure he's the defenseman. So, see, I'm I'm tired. I just know the name. I just know the name. I'm trying to think. Yeah, he's the defenseman. Okay. Third rounder in 2023. Yeah, listen, if he can maybe come in in the next couple seasons, stay at home D man. All right, listen, I mean, do it up, do it up. You know, if Schneider's up and a little too expensive within the next couple of years and he comes in, you know, you never know. That's how it usually works, right? That's how it usually works. Kreider needs to do another suit out move. <laughs> What up, Brandon? How you doing? If I were on the Rangers, what position would I would I be? I'd be a, a a nice tall defenseman on the back end. Good afternoon, Brandon. How you doing? How do I feel about the Rangers not willing to give up their first at the deadline? I mean, it's kind of in the past now. It is what it is. Um, if the deal was right, then absolutely they should have pulled the trigger. But most likely, the deal was not right. I, in my opinion, I'm 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 trusting in Drury. I'm trusting in Drury. Uh, do I think this season is more of a success so far than the 21-22 regular season? That's a good question. Um, the 21-22 regular season was a very good regular season. Playoffs was very good as well. That was a very successful year. We'll see how this playoffs goes. We'll see how this playoffs goes. How tall am I? How tall am I? 5'10"? Five, five, Say 5'10". Maybe on a good day 5'11 if I got some nice sneakers on. Not saying this is the year, but we need to see laugh on PP1 next season. I know. I know. That kick could score so many more points on PP1. He could have 60, 65 points already this year. Even though the season is still not quite over yet, who do I think gets the number one overall pick? I think it'll go to Chicago or San Jose. Uh, the New York Rangers, Brandon. Come on. The New York Rangers. Let's go. Let's go. You would much rather have Rossipi than Tarasenko, honestly. I like the way Tarasenko fits in Florida. I like the way he also fit with the Rangers. So, like, 
I don't know. I got to see in the playoffs how Rossovic performs. It's pretty much how, my opinion right now on him. Who's scoring tonight? Joseph, let's see. Who's scoring tonight? Who's scoring tonight? Matt Rampy, if he was playing. I'll say Lafreniere maybe keeps his hot, hot streak going. He'll get one again tonight. I'll say Panarin maybe gets another one. I don't know. I'm not sure. Celebrini is the consensus number one pick, Justin. Yeah, he is. He is. I think he will go first also. Igor needs a goal. I know, Mark. He absolutely does. When are the New York Rangers playing? The Rangers are playing tonight against the Pittsburgh Penguins at 7 o'clock. Um, yeah, should be good. Oh, Justa. All right, Roslevic. Excuse me. Roslevic, I love it. I love it, Roslevic. I love it. San Jose should get the pick. I think I think it should go to San Jose. I, I think so too. I think they need it. Um, it'd be right for sure. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't know if I don't know if you would maybe Celebrini maybe not be that generational as Bedard, but but yes, yeah, I think San Jose needs needs Celebrini. And they're gonna have Leonard come in too. Oh not Leonard, uh Will Smith. You know, they'll, they'll be good. San Jose. Get Celebrini. Let let them stack up a little bit more. Uh, I agree. One goal in 12 games uh, with the Rangers isn't anything special for Rossovic. It isn't. It isn't. Very good point there. It's not. It's not. I understand, like, the way he's played, but no. And and Zibanejad and Kreider don't look incredible. Let's be honest. They don't look incredible. He doesn't elevate them too much as of right now, so we'll see. Not that I'm going to apologize for it, but I think Pittsburgh is the most disappointed team in the NHL this year. Um, They're disappointing. The Devils are really disappointing. Yeah, no, we're good now. We're good. I don't know what that was. <laughs> my um, my camera froze and like, it, it just my my software was just like, nah, we're good. We're gonna stop working. <laughs> I got it though. All right, I think we're back. Um, all right. No, 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 we're good. That was on my end. I apologize for that. I apologize, all right? Damn. We're good. Okay. What else, what else do I have to talk about? We could talk about Lafreniere, Chocek, and, and, and Panarin. I mean, the big three for the New York Rangers. Devils fans were chanting Igor because he was the best goalie. Oh, yeah. Well, not a taunt. I agree. I agree. Uh, would I say that I'm Frank the Tank for the but for the Rangers? No, I'm definitely not Frank the Tank for the Rangers because I'm oh man, <laughs> that no I I'm not like I was gonna say I'm not as like I'm not like I can't say what I want to say. Yeah. I can't say what I want to yeah. say. Yeah. Um, I'm not I'm not like I'm not like um I'm not on at that big of a platform. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Save. Kreider's two trick pony on the offense, one park in front of the net, uh, and get deflections. So he also skates a little bit, I think. Hopefully he can he can, he can score on the rush a little bit. Yeah. Is Simo Meyer still alive? Uh yeah, he I hope he is. I hope he is. He, he's chilling. Uh Kreider doesn't have to score every game. He doesn't score forty. Yeah, no, I I mean, listen, but you want more from Kreider. You want more from Zabanish at a five on five. I agree. And, you know, they're not gonna score forty goals. I do. I do agree with that. Um but yeah, you want them to just play better at five on five. You do. You want them to generate um chances in the offensive zone. You want them to, to oh, you know, be like you want you want their the best defensive line to be out there against them, right? For the other team. You want them to be a threat. Uh, yeah, no, no reactions last two. It was just out. Yeah, it was just out. Didn't, didn't, didn't watch him here. Uh, I don't want more from them, uh, saving for the playoffs. That's fine by me too. That's fine by me too. I agree. Why doesn't the coach make the first line, the first line and the second line for the first line? I know. I know. Well, it kind of already is. It, it kind of already is. Uh, we want to cycle the puck and create ozone time. Yeah. 
Play responsible defense. Keep the puck in the, in the dark. Yeah. So Rossovic hasn't had a point in his previous four be, before the Arizona game. Um, but he's a plus minus zero. No, I mean, we can go back and forth on the Rossovic debate over his last dozen games as a Ranger all day. But, I mean, the matter of the fact is he needs to just do it in the playoffs. He needs to elevate that line in the playoffs. I don't care what he's done in the past and what he's going to do in the next two weeks. It's in the next three, within the next three weeks is what matters. You're dying on that hill. I love it, though, Justin. I love it. Yeah, Soto absolutely needs to stay for three, 30 years. Absolutely. It's Shaq Rosovic's dad. That's funny. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. The New York Rangers' last regular season game is April 15th against the Ottawa Senators. The playoffs will start Saturday, April 20th. That was confirmed today. We didn't know if it was going to be a little before that or a little after that, but they decided on Saturday, April 20th. Most likely the Rangers will play... I mean, they could get that game, I guess, or they can get the Sunday game. Could be an afternoon game. Could be an evening game. Most likely, they'll have they'll be at Madison Square Garden. So, could be a game I go to. We'll see. Um, real quick, actually, before we get going, before we get going, we're gonna talk about the Yankees. But I'm gonna get to the chat just about the Rangers real quick. Give Soto the blank check. Um, we're gonna talk about the Yankees really quick. I'm a Mets fan. All I get is hockey and basketball rough times. Justin, we're going to talk about the Yankees really quick if you want to stick around. Um, Tanner Glass just announced that he's, he's unretiring. Uh, he's, yeah. Nah, he's just joking around. Oh, Ben's just making jokes. But, yeah, real quick about the Yankees. want to talk about them. Start the season 4-0, the New York Yankees. With a 4 nothing comeback on opening day, a bi big late hitting ball in Game 2, lights out pitching by Stroman on his Saturday debut, and Juan Soto's clutch hitting throughout the series comes through in Game 4 to complete the sweep in Houston. The Yankees are in Arizona to start a three-game set against the defending National League champion Diamondbacks, who start the season off 3-1. and one. Yankees baseball is back. I will be there in a week. I cannot wait. It's going to be so much fun to just be back in that building with this team, exciting, excited for the season. They're already off to a 4-0 start with four electrifying wins against the Astros, against their arch-rival Astros. It's going to be fun uh, over the next few months, but you know we still have hockey to worry about. But yeah, the Yankees are right around the corner, and they're getting us excited. Uh, Aaron Judge, not off to the greatest start, but Juan Soto's off to a great start. Um, it's going to be great. Oswaldo Cabrera looks great on that left side of the infield. Birdie has come over, made a game-saving play last night. Um, awesome, awesome, awesome. But yeah, I think not a one. I love that. I love that, Chan. Uh, how many wins does how Houston have? Not a single one. <laughs> not a single one. Not a single one. All right. I appreciate every single one of you guys watching. Please remember to leave a like um, on the stream if you guys did enjoy. Rangers play in a couple hours. Reaction video will be out, of course. Um, but yeah, I enjoyed this pregame chat with you guys, of course, as usual. Leave a like, like I said. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys later. I'll see you guys later.